not mistaken, I believe. He's the one that also plays like a little bit of Mr. Kazi and Mishima. Maybe he's just with the Pikachu. Uh, might be mixing him up with Axiom a little bit. Hmm. Oh, Pyromythia. Oh. That's good. Yes, Pyromythia. Okay, okay. Yes, yes, yes. That's always an answer. That's always a solid answer right there. It doesn't matter like what you bubble in on your multiple choice. If there's like a pilot myth who option, just circle it, you have like a good 90% shot of being right. Yeah. Um, and let me tell you, this is definitely not an easy matchup for Lucario by any means. Absolutely. I mean, we talked about Siphon in the previous set, but Mithra against Lucario can absolutely press this character out for yeah. days, for days. And on top of that, I always say Lucario is not a real character until 40%. A lot of a lot of this character stuff just doesn't work until a bit of aura and rage. I will say though, Alumadillo's landing on DM Shield Super Saiyan just applying all this pressure, gonna be able to get the neutral into the grab, catching the mistech into the down smash, Ooh. already all of this damage, and is that actually going to be the stock? Yes, it is. With uh, DM offstage as Pyra, no ability to actually side beat to the ledge as Mithril would, and just had to take it. Yeah, it's a very hard position to recover from, because if you have a move that has to recover kind of straight up, Lucario's down air is really easy to time, and lasts a very long time. Yeah. DM, you know what, just able to mash pop dodge through that. Alumadella had the right idea on being able to catch the landing. Okay, really nice grab out of shield. Oh, I like the idea. I like the idea. Trying to call out a jump or something along those lines with the neutral B. Oh, but wait, wow. wait! That was so sick! That was so sick, the little aura charge and the jump cancel back air. I've never seen that. That's hot. That's yeah, hot. Yeah, that was, that was <laughs> honestly phenomenal. Now, Agamadello, and that's on Lucario's first stock. You don't typically see such big leads build up that quickly. DM on his last. This is a lot to actually come back from, and it's only going to get more and more difficult as the time goes on. 105% on Town and City. All you need is one good hit but DM may be committing a little bit too much to the ledge trip punish. Yeah, and I'm loving the movement from Armadillo, just floating through unfazed by these massive hitboxes that Pyra can potentially throw out. And look at that, just jumping out, just saying, okay, you're not going to do nothing here. DM's going for a lot of just kind of like layer two, three options when Armadillo's just floating mm -hmm. comfortably at layer one. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, now no double jump, has to get back on, but not going to be able to read Armadillo's drift correctly. That is one of the most ambiguous recoveries in the game. Whoa. And S smash at center stage on Town and City is going to be able to kill at that blue cent. Just do it. Okay. Just do it. You got to hold that. Yeah. I mean, Lucario doesn't wear shoes, but if he did, he'd be wearing Nikes, okay? Because <laughs> that, that Pokemon just did it. Wow. Um, and with the three stock too, I don't think I've actually seen DM get three stocked like ever. Honestly, yeah, it's a rare, it's a rare occurrence. It's a rare, rare occurrence. But honestly, I mean, we talked about Pyro and Mithra, but it looked like the matchup was in uh, Pyro and Mithra's favor. But the player matchup was definitely yeah. on Armadillo's side, looking well practiced. Armadillo practice. was just looking practiced. Armadillo was kind of schmoving. Armadillo was just able to jump in on DM a lot and be the one to actually dictate the pace of game number one. Whereas typically, you know what? It's kind of like difficult for Lucario to actually get in from A to B. He is a little bit floaty, but once he is there, I mean, that is one of the safest neutral layers in the game. He's able to apply all of this safe shield pressure. He's able to get some very light confirms, but then especially on somebody like Pyramithra, he was able to get very gentle hits off stage that would then result in a kill because Pyramith recovery is not good. We're going to be seeing the switch to the Steve though. Uh, so we've definitely seen a whole bunch of this from DM lately. Yeah, and going into that, just trying to build the wall, start uh, mining, but Armadillo not having any of it already has solid stage control, but yep. stage control against Steve, it matters a bit, but like not as much as other characters. Steve can just kind of do stuff out there. He can... Steve do be doing things, and I think that's the best way to actually put where the meta is at now. Steve does things. Like, look at that. 50% he does things. Yep, he, he did a thing. He did a thing. But also, to do more things, he's going to need more tools, and Armadillo's doing a good job making yep. sure that DM's not having enough time to mine. Not really sure what happened with the minecart, if I'm going to be entirely honest. Uh, DM now just trying to set up a bit of a TNT early dodge ledge trap setup. Not going to be able to get it, but that's super quick, super safe. Doesn't find the up tilt out of the shield a little bit too far back to be able to get it. But now has Armadillo playing through quite the back foot. This is such a different game too. Absolutely, but you have to really keep track of the resources as well because, okay, we got that forest mask, but yeah, DM needs the time to mine to get some more steel because you need minecart, you need down air to yes. uh, land safely. Only has two ticks of steel left, and watch out for the dynamite! Ah! Ah! Okay, we're good, we're good. It doesn't kill as soon as you think it would too sometimes, but that up to go is going to be able to do it. Now DM has a lead for the first time in this entire set. Such a departure from how game one went, and I'm going to say I'm loving the switch. Yeah, it's been working out beautifully so far until that double team, but look at the resource from DM. So much iron and a diamond too. Going to walk the dog a little bit, 
I think the jab on the crafting table might have actually messed DM up a little bit and messed him up on his timing. Yeah. Uh, definitely not what he had intended to do there, and he was not able to get the full extent of his jab chains. Now he's stuck off stage against Lucario. Uh-oh, how do you get back on? Aggressively is the option, it seems. Oh, with the down smash on the anvil as well, and finally getting the time to get the diamonds. This is really bad for Armadillo at the moment because a single force match could smell doom at the ledge, but gets that back air. Here we go, Armadillo with another edge guard situation. Wow. Gets that down air at the ledge. These down air timings are honestly impeccable. Armadillo is making so much use out of it. Now Ooh. just able to take that sock so early from what looked like a little susty eye, yeah. if I'm going to be honest. And that's really bad because now that diamond was burned too and with nothing to show for it. I don't think DM actually hit him one once the diamond came out. That's really, really bad, and especially with the percentage keeping on oh, going boy. like this. And yeah, this is getting worse and worse by the second. And that down is so non-committal because as soon as you whiff it, you'll be able to get back onto the stage, able to continue and perpetuate your ledge trap. Now, all of a sudden, DM able to get a forward out of shield, but you have to cut this bleeding ASAP. I want to see Armadillo now with like a Tomahawk side B because he successfully conditioned DM uh, for his, you know, to sit in shield with a lot of jump-ins. Yeah, or even as a punish, like with that up smash right there. But we just run up, and Steve be doing things. Steve yeah. do be doing things. Yeah, Finds good that. jump call out with the up smash there. Armadillo just needs one big hit to be able to take it, but DM, excellent jump call out. Yeah, and some hard SDI on that too. But yeah, mm. anyone get the license plate on the car? Because it just ran over a dog doing kung fu. Here we go. Got some gold tools, but OK, good. Um, SDI and DI, and also air dodge away, having a bit too much rage, but Diamond, you need to get that into your hands right Ooh, now. that was it. Oh my goodness, these back are so threatening, but not when you don't have any oil. So DM living a little bit longer, really exploiting that Steve roll from ledge, which is nice and, you know what, quite hefty. Getting a couple of good bits of damage in, tries to catch this landing, but Armadillo is just so safe. And there we go, finally gets the diamonds in his hands. This could be really bad, because that's a lot of rage. And oh my god, the hard read gets that hit in there. And DM, DM. is swinging. DM swing for the fence and gets no the handle. Oh that my kills. god, what? He was at like 80. He was at like 80. Steve, be doing the damn things. <laughs> be doing the things. Steve's not only doing the damn thing, that's also going to be DM. <laughs> DM is doing things. Uh, oh my god, I don't know how to feel about that last stock because all of a sudden it felt like Armadillo got like a little bit shaky, a little bit nervous, right? Because uh, you have DM coming at you, coming in hot, coming and swinging all these different hitboxes. All of a sudden hit his landings getting a little bit predictable, getting mm. stuffed out quite often, getting a lot of his landings caught. And DM was just able to set up that ledge trap and catch a bit of an antsy buffered ledge option. Anvil is big, it's a big strong hitbox. It killed at 80 because reasons, and Armadillo has to hold that. Yeah, absolutely. And the biggest shift in momentum was the moment that that diamond got in DM's hands. That was a problem. I mean, it's one of the strongest tools in the game. And like we kind of saw it when DM was out there swinging when Armadillo was off stage. Just said, I'm going to get this kill, and I don't care what you're doing. And it ended up panning out in DM's favor. And right now we got Armadillo and DM going into game number three yep. on small battlefield. Yeah, let's see how this plays out. Already 57%. It seems like DM is aging like fine wine, just only going to be getting more and more refined as this set goes on. Armadillo is going to have to slow down the pace of the game to be able to get back into the swing of things. All right, setting up a nice tech chase, neutrally follow up into the foil throw. That was well, well played. Yeah, and that Elytra barely going unpunished. And here we go, some uh, pressure with the Aura Spheres. And wow, just tagging the Enderman out right off the cart yeah. with that. Okay, a bit of shield pressure, right? Just being so safe, up tilt and spot dodges. Armadillo just has to back off, you know, set up another situation for themselves. All right, and Armadillo, I'm loving the movement, the beer versus on the Aura Sphere is, mm -hmm. is just kind of a, like, record scratch moment. You think you're approaching Lucario safely, and all of a sudden, there's just a massive heft of aura in your face. And I gotta say, Armadillo is looking so confident in actually breaking through a lot of these blocks, able to maybe get a two frame, or you know what, the Aura Sphere just big enough to be able to hit under the ledge. Armadillo gonna be losing, or well, excuse me, Armadillo gonna be getting the first stock off of DM. Oh, and it's capitalizing even more. Okay, the Elytra able to get back on stage. I think DM needs Ooh. some ore uh, uh -oh. immediately. Also, to get that ore, needs to get back on the stage solidly. Managed to get some time here. We got a follow up. What? It nicked the t big toe of Lucario. And just was the it, toe. Just, just the, the toe. very edge of it. Wow, that was a really good attempt. But you know what? Now, all of a sudden, we are uh, both two stocks apiece. Steve can easily make up some of this damage with a well placed jab up tilt at this point. But the question is can he get back onto stage to actually do that? Yes, you can. Yeah. 
Now can you get that space to um, get a little bit more breathing room, though? Getting a lot of these little jabs, but has a bit of too much rage to capitalize off of anything else there. And again, just getting these tiny, tiny hits in there, but nothing huge. DM starting to just back off a little bit, needs to mine a bit more, and whoa! Ooh. Ooh, hoo, hoo. Count your lucky stars that you are in dead right now. Yeah, Elemental now really gonna be looking for the back hit. I'm so impressed to see like how little side beat. Okay, you know what, guys? Never mind. <laughs> I take it back. I'm so sad. I was gonna make a note of that, and then, and then the one time that I decided to say it, it was entirely sad. He's like, "All right, side beat." Yep, and it's Whoa. been working. It blows through Whoa. all the boxes and uh, the TNT. Uh, that is so deceptive. Why does it take five years? Why are you even blinking if you're not gonna blow up yet? Yeah, that's like just so deceptive. It's like, oh, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. Yeah. It, it just doesn't happen. <laughs> All right, but uh, we got Diamond for DM. Probably not going to use it until this stop or this stock is dropped for them. The last thing you want to do is use a diamond and then just have nothing for a bit. But doesn't have a tool right now, so now your hand's kind Ooh. of. Wait, I thought it broke. I thought it broke. How do we get gold again? Whatever. Hey, Doesn't we matter. We're just going to be getting into it. Now everybody is last stock apiece. This is where Lucario shines. It's in those super clutch moments. When you need him most, that is when he becomes a fully fledged character. And DM is struggling to get a bit of space for himself. Armadillo is going in and he is swinging. Neutral back here, up tilts, F tilts, everything. Yeah, everything except the kitchen sink. And DM hasn't had any breathing room to get any tools in their hands right now. Finally, almost has enough time to get a diamond, but it was a bait. Ends up getting a good string also. And using the diamond craft to bait an option for Armadillo, yep. he knows how dangerous it is. He knows he can't let it happen. What? What's happening? But the forest smash, and Not we're still alive. Not going to be able to kill. Still going to be around for a little bit longer. Going to be able to successfully snap onto the ledge. Now just going to be looking for the struggle. Not able to catch the jump out of shield with the back here, but I like the attempt. Oh my oh. gosh, it's like just a shark underneath the platforms in the crafting table. He wanted to land with the oil sphere. He didn't want to get stuck on the platform. He wanted his beautiful oil sphere to go and crash through the shield, maybe get some sort of a mix up there. But now all of a sudden, this is anybody's game to take. DM holding on to the <gasps> ledge so well, and that's going to be a back hit to do it. Takes it over Armadillo, two to one. Yeah, and DM is hyped over that. Armadillo is a little bit crestfallen. But guys, I really still can't believe that this is happening in round one pools. Wow. I actually am just floored.